Richard, what's the mood then amongst the Greek people? Resigned, resentful, defiant, all of those things, Becky, as they ponder what comes next. They know life is going to get much more difficult, but bear in mind they're coming up to the end of a second week without the banks being open, or one and a half weeks without the banks being open. And I think everybody knows that this is the moment uh, that actually the, the government here has to come up with a full throttle plan, take it to Brussels, get their approval. And even then, that's a long-term plan. They've still got to get billions of euros just to pay back debts to the ECB on the 20th of July, Becky. Richard, stand by. I want our viewers to see how the debate over Greece uh, is um, dividing not only the country but European lawmakers. Check out the welcome Cyprus got at the European Parliament in Strasbourg. And we are going to highlight something you might have missed. Well, clearly a lot of MEPs sympathise with Athens' official stance, demanding what it considers a, a fairer deal with creditors. But did you see the signs that several were holding? Many lawmakers going so far as to put up placards saying no, both in English and in Greek. A reflection on the plebiscite that we uh, covered last weekend. Richard, of course, not everybody welcoming the Greek Prime Minister that way. He also received some scattered boos and there were some testy exchanges today, were there not? There were indeed, Becky. There were lawmakers, particularly from some of the northern countries, that reminded uh, Tsipras of responsibility. There were those who said that, of course, from the southern European countries, that Greece had, had basically fought the moral crusade against austerity under the German jackboot. But this is quite interesting, and, I, and I, it's fascinating that you raise this, Becky, because the European Parliament is exactly the place one would expect to see this disparity of views. By the time you get up to the European Council with the leaders, they know they have to negotiate with each other. There's only 28 of them, or 18, 19 in Eurozone. So they're a lot more circumspect, a lot mm. more diplomatic. But the European Parliament, even with big constituencies, is the manifestation of ordinary Europeans. Um, so what you're bound to have mm. are those who are saying to Cyprus, you've dragged us along, you've dragged this out, now you want more money. For goodness sake, when are the Greeks going to grow up? And there are those who are saying, no, he's actually done democracy a favour. He's got us away from Merkel's austerity.